Hi, Peter Lawler from The Australian here at the announcement of the test team to play South Africa in the first test in Brisbane on Friday week. Very few surprises. Matthew Wade, as we expected, has been named as wicketkeeper ahead of Brad Haddon, who led the Sydney Sixers to a big win in the Champions League last night, but returns home to find that his test place is gone. I spoke with Vice-Captain Shane Watson about Brad Haddon and Matthew Wade. Well, Shane, congratulations on being named in the team. You're Vice-Captain, so we were expecting it. I suppose happy day for Matthew Wade, continues his test career, but a sad day for Brad. You've played a lot of cricket with him. How do you react to that? Yeah, it is a sad day for Brad. There's no doubt when um, one, of your, one of your good friends misses out on um, an opportunity to to play for Australia it is definitely it's a sad day, but um, but Matthew Wade in his in his last Test match that he did play batted batted beautifully in, in tough conditions. So um, uh, in the end, that's just what the selectors has got, have gone with. But um, you know, from, from my perspective, to see um, how Brad led the Sixers team so well throughout this period of time in in his life as well was was so impressive. And um, for him to have the success individually, but as as a team as well, and uh, him be a huge part of that, I think it will be. Is very satisfying for him, and um, you know, there's no doubt there's a hell of a lot of cricket left in in Brad Haddon, um, and it's great to see. You know, and even though it's a it's a bit bittersweet for him, in regards to missing out on Test selection, um, he's played such a huge role in the Sixers having the success that they have. I uh, phoned Brad towards the end of last week, uh, and we had a really good conversation. Uh, and part of that conversation that it was he was still very much in the reckoning, uh, and I gave the. In the assurance that if um, Matthew Wade were to be injured in the first test, he'd be our replacement wicketkeeper coming into the second test. He's, he's been a great player for a long time and you know this certainly isn't the end of his career in my opinion. I think his batting at the moment is as good as anybody in first class cricket. I know he'll be pushing for selection whether it be as a wicketkeeper batsman or just a batsman. Um, yeah, so I certainly don't think we've seen the end of Brad Adam. The only other debate in the test team revolved around the bowlers. Peter Siddle and Ben Hilfenhouse were lock-ins. Mitchell Stark's performance in the Champions League 2020 has been compelling and he's a much improved bowler. And James Pattinson finds himself picked ahead of Pat Cummins, whose lack of preparation, because he's been stuck in the 2020 leagues for the last few months, has cost him dearly. We didn't uh, feel as though Pat Cummins was um, ready to, be, to play in a test match. Uh, we're very keen for him to play a Sheffield Shield match soon. Uh, and that he's likely to become uh, very much onto the radar for perhaps the third test in Perth. Now that's not speculating that he'll be selected for that, but we'll be, he'll be ready for uh, content to, get, to be in contention at that stage.